In this video, we will talk about how to configure OneDrive on your computer. You can simply type in on the search menu and search for OneDrive. And if you see this app, you can simply click on it. It should open this application, the same screen which you see if it is not configured on your computer. And it will prompt you to enter the email address and password to log in. So we'll proceed with this right now. So I will click on sign in to sign in with my account, which has a OneDrive storage associated with it. Yeah, so I will enter the password of my account now. And sign in. If you have multi-factor authentication, then it will prompt you for the authentication on the authenticator app or via text or a call. You can approve that. I was successfully configured on the computer. It is showing the path as well, which has been created. You can change the location if you want uh, to store it on a specific file explorer directory, but I will keep it as default and will hit next. And on this page, it basically asks us if we want to sync the documents, picture and desktop folder of this computer to the server. So what it will do is it will gather everything on the computer and then upload it on to the OneDrive, which is associated with your account. Now I will not do or initiate any backup. So if you want to cancel it, you can simply toggle it off and click on next and next again and next again. If the status of it is showing the cloud icon, that means the file is not on your computer, but you can click on it to, and it will then download it. And then it will appear as this green checkbox. And if you wish to keep the file always on your computer, you can simply make it available. This is just a general information page. You can simply hit next and simply hit later. And there you go. It has been successfully configured. If you click on this, open my OneDrive folder, it should open the file explorer showing you all the files which is there on the server. These are all the folders which are present in my OneDrive. You can see that here as well. And these are the cloud icons which we just discussed. If I wish to keep them on the computer, I can simply right click on it. And then select this option to always keep on this device. What it will do is it will download the entire content of the folder onto the computer. And uh, it will be available even when the OneDrive or my computer is offline. So we'll do that and as you can see the green check and in case you want to remove it from the computer without deleting the files uh, you can right click on it simply and then click on free of space it will not delete the file on the server it will only remove the copy which is downloaded onto your computer this was basically how we can set up one